Yeah, that's Pop and Peeps. Teflosion787 here today for my final episode. Well, okay, I shouldn't say final, but the ending of the story. Chapter 15 of Soccer Scramble. I will be doing all three routes, but... Yeah, or all three endings, I should say, but... Yeah, just know that the one I'm going with this time is my true ending. What happened over break changes everything. I don't know how I'm going to make this choice. So, your break was good? It was interesting. Rio raises a brow at me. I want to hear more about that. Rio stops in his tracks. Austin. Rio points at the soccer tree. I can't believe it. My heart sinks. The soccer tree's blossoms are starting to fall. I'm running out of time. Looks like we're going to have to make some big decisions. I wasn't expecting this to happen so soon. I try to calm my breathing. Poppy, Willow, and Raven all sit in the courtyard chatting. I've got to stop staring at them. That's a lot of pressure. This is our last year at the school. This is the last bloom we'll see. This is our last chance to do this. How do you know, though? Well, the tree looks pretty dead to me. No, I mean, how do you know if someone's the one? Ryo gets a dreamy smile on his face. You just know. Is there someone you think of all the time? Well... It's not just someone, it's not someone you just want. It's someone that makes you feel whole. Someone that makes you work harder and love harder. But how do you know it's right? You don't always. But there's something inside of you that just clicks. Love is worth it, Austin. Sometimes it takes a long time to get there. Sometimes it takes a lot of trial and error. But the journey is worth it. You know that for sure? What can I say? I'm in love. Are you? I think about the question for a long moment. I am. I really am in love. Yeah. Then this is our chance to make it forever. The chance to have a, a real partner in life. Are you nervous? Of course not. I look to Rio's trembling hand. Not one bit? Nope. Not at all. I hold Rio's shaking body still by his shoulders. Love can be a little nerve-wracking. What if we just didn't do anything? We would regret it. So, it's now or never. A clump of blossoms fall from the tree. They float over me and land in a dirty puddle. Rio's right. I need to make my choice. The girl I love. The girl that means the world to me. It's the girl who makes me better. The girl who I can see my entire future with. The girl who is the first and last thing I want to see every day. I know who it is. You're right. I take a deep breath. I'm ready. Rio? Rio smiles at me. I couldn't have, I couldn't ask for a better friend. You've made every step of this journey better. You've done the same for me. High school isn't easy. Neither is romance. If it doesn't work out, at least we have each other. Oh, it'll work out. And I hate to break it to you, but you're not my type. I'm heartbroken, Rio. Crushed. Truly. I laugh. Rio pulls me into a hug and pats my back. This is where everything really changes for us. He meets my eye with a seriousness I've never seen. Are you ready? I take a deep breath. I look at Poppy, Willow, and Raven. Willow, so intelligent and driven. Poppy, so funny, so real. My best friend. Raven, so emotional, so human, so compassionate. They're all so different, but they're all so important to me. I know what I have to do. Okay, now I'm really ready. Who do I pick? You guys know who I'm going to pick. I've been talking about my obsession with this character for months on end. And how she is the best character Genius has ever made, in my opinion. My personal favorite fictional character of all time. It's Poppy. You ready? 
I am. Rio steps in front of me. I'm ready too. He walks in front of me. Mind if I steal the tree first? I mean, Rio nods. He walks over to Poppy. Wait, is he? Poppy. Poppy looks up to him with her gorgeous smile. What's going on? He's not. He can't pick her. You want to come chat for a second? I can't believe what I'm seeing. Is she going to pick him? Uh, sure. He takes Poppy's hand and leads her to the tree. Why so formal? The two stand under the tree. They say whoever stands under this tree and confesses their love will be eternally happy. I know the story, but... Oh, Rio. Rio takes a breath. What do I do? I have to stop this. I have to do something. I try to move, but I just can't. I love you, Poppy. Hearing those words shatters my heart. I want to cry, to scream, to do something. How can this be happening? I've never loved anyone like I've loved Poppy. Is she really just going to be gone like that? Poppy's blushing. She looks over. She looks to the soccer tree, then back at Rio. Rio. Her grip tightens on his hands. I can't watch this. My love for Poppy overwhelms me. She's my dream girl. I see my future with her. I love you too. I can't breathe. The girl I loved. She's gone. I've lost her forever. But as a friend, I feel like I'm going to collapse on the ground. She doesn't love him. I can actually breathe now. I don't see a future with you. I feel like I could cry. I try to collect myself, almost losing Poppy. It makes me realize how much I love her. I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but I'm in love with someone else. Poppy turns to me. Her eyes sparkle. Poppy. Rio slinks back to me. He puts a hand on my shoulder. Rio, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. You're a good person, Austin. She picked you for a reason. I can't be mad at that. Rio pats my back with a somber little smile. Just treat her right. That's all I want to do. Good. Rio smiles and walks off. Puppy waits under the tree for me. She stands in a cloud of pink flowers. She couldn't look more beautiful if she tried. I walk up to her and take her hands in mine. I hope you meant me. Poppy nods, grinning ear to ear. It's always been you, Austin. I stare at Poppy in a surreal, happy daze. Poppy and I stand under the soccer tree in silence for a long moment. We just stare, breathing each other in. From childhood best friends to this. How did I get so lucky? You just scared me out of my mind. Poppy laughs. She puts her hand on my cheek, staring deeply into my eyes. I'm not good at this whole sweet girl thing, but you mean the world to me. You're a pretty sweet girl to me. Don't get sappy on me now, Austin. <laughs> she shoves me playfully. I've loved you since we were kids, Poppy. No one makes me laugh like you. You feel like my partner in crime, like my other half. This is what love is supposed to be, right? I nod, laughing. I've never felt this happy before. She's right. Rio's right. This is love. Best friends taking on the world together? Laughing and making fun of each other every day? Sounds like love to me. I look up at the tree. Soccer blossoms fall all around us. Now is really the time. So, we're doing this? We are. She takes a deep breath. And finally, I get that ending screen. Yes. Poppy looks at me with dreamy eyes. We're going to have a lot of new memories to add to that photo album your parents have been keeping of us. Poppy laughs and rolls her eyes. I don't think I mind that. I brush a blossom out of her hair. My hand lingers against her soft skin. We've taken care of each other since we were kids. I promise I'll always take care of you. Forever. I promise the same. I'll always sneak in your window. I laugh. I really hope you do. I'll try my hardest. You're all I've ever dreamed of. 
Even with your creepy window climbing habits, being your best friend is the greatest gift I've ever gotten. She pats the tree with a smile. I guess we both got what we wanted months ago. A stumbling woman you are, huh? Poppy leans into me. I got you exactly what you wanted. You did. But we should make it official to seal the deal. I want you to be my best friend and my girlfriend. Poppy grins. Is that you asking? Will you be my girlfriend? Let me think about that. Poppy, uh, Poppy gives me a sly little grin. She leans in, inches from my lips. Yes. I love you, Poppy. I love you, Austin. Poppy presses her lips against mine. Blo blooms fall around us as we kiss. I feel whole. I feel blessed. I pull away from Poppy. My future's standing in front of me. Looking into her beautiful eyes, I know everything from here will be okay. Anyways, guys, this has been Typhoon Legend 77 with ending one of Soccer Scramble. And I hope you enjoyed. I know I really enjoyed this entire series. And I wish I could record more. It sucks that it's already coming to an end. But thank you for taking this journey with me, for coming along for the ride. This has easily been. My favorite thing that I've done on the channel so far, and I'm glad to keep doing this with other genius novels. I will see you in the next episode, where we should be tackling the Raven Route. Bye.